Well, it was also a crucial day for Donald Trump's New York fraud trial, a trial that poses a lethal threat to his business, because this was the day that the spotlight shifted to the real money behind his fortune. Former Deutsche Bank executive Rosemarie Verabilek, who we have never seen, we have never heard from, was on the witness stand testifying about how she arranged hundreds of millions of dollars in loans for Trump starting back in 2011. This was when Deutsche Bank was basically the only financial institution that would do business with him. And the bank's loans, of course, fueled some of Trump's major real estate moves in Florida, Chicago, D.C., and New York. Attorney General accuses Donald Trump of inflating his net worth to get those loans at more favorable rates than he should have. But the relationship between DB and Donald Trump goes back decades. Here's how one reporter who knows Trump well described it well, all. Deutsche Bank has been involved with Donald Trump since the 1990s, starting with um, 40 Wall Street. It was the first loan that they that they extended to him. And then in 2008, they got into a huge fight with him over the Chicago loan to the point where Donald Trump sued them during the middle of the financial crisis. The bank was so upset at the time, they ended up renegotiating it, but they said, we are never doing business with this guy again. They were so burned that this customer would um, would sue them that they just said, forget it. And then lo and behold, three years later, another arm of the bank looking for, for profit, looking for uh, you know a customer, I guess a whale as, as it was put today, um, got back into bed with him. That whale comment refers to an email Verabilik wrote to her Deutsche Bank colleagues back in November of 2011 when she was trying to win his business. As she put it back then, quote, we are whale hunting, meaning the hunt was on for high net worth clients.